I'm going to look at this unit because it's um, not making a full ice bank, which is usual um, uh, when it's short gas. It's quite a common thing. Um, it doesn't make ice to the full length of the coil. Um, anyway, it's gone around the fusible plug. You see the solder's come out. That should be flush. Look, we've got nothing around there. Um, when I serviced it the other week, that um, little braided uh, hose there on the pressure switch looked a bit oily. I couldn't find anything on it. Um, you never know whether it's had oil dripped on it from bits and pieces of the machinery they've got stored in here or from the milking machine. Um, anyway, I was just going around. Any connections on this um, piece of that Alco pressure switch, just checking the ends of the hoses because they looked a bit oily. And I couldn't pick anything up around here. But as soon as I went, and there goes off the scale. So uh, I think we'll take the cover off and have a look. down. As you get nearer the leak you lower the sensitivity. There's a, a bellows on here. The LP side low pressure. It's got a um, pressure setting and the differential, and the high side HP is um, just a pressure set um, pressure setting, and um, it's a fixed differential. It's usually about 80 psi or something. Okay. Definitely looks like it's on the high side. So that might well uh, that'll account for the um, short gas. Um, could be on the bellows. You have to be careful. Could be underneath. It's coming round. You have to be careful spraying leak spray now, obviously, because you've got 240 volts on the control circuit. Um, I'm going to squirt some stuff in there just to see. But looks like we're going to want a dual pressure switch. Uh, well, it's tricky to get light in there, but I can just about. Um, make out. Oh, it's best to focus and zoom in. It's not very good for close up work, this uh, camera. I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, um, just bubbling away at the bottom. Yep. So that's the problem. Leaky um, high pressure switch. To see what we've got in the van. If we haven't got a, a dual, we could we could um, put another single one as a standalone. Um, there's not a lot of space in there. We'd be better off if we've got a dual one. We've got our new LPHP switch on there. Um, been around the joints and checked them all for leaks. I ended up putting a new hose on the high side because it had rubbed through. Where it goes under the suction line. Um, that tap is in the wrong way around the shut off valve. Um, if you wind it in, you can't shut the um, 
HP connection off, it's always open to the rest of the system. So I had to recover the gas out on the high side and I dumped it in the um, low side, which is why I've got the blue hose on the high, on the low, and the bl um, blue hose on the high side and the red hose on the suction. Um, anyway, we've got that set up, we've adjusted those. Just go around with a leak check for it, just give it a few minutes and then check for bubbles again. I couldn't see any. I sort of go around and look at one flat on the um, nut and maybe count to 10 or 20 or something and then go around to the next one. And that's. Um, give it a chance for a bubble to grow if it's going to. You can't really just quickly look at it because you'll miss something. And then, you know, if you can, leave it on there for five minutes and come back. And then sometimes, if it's a really small leak, um, you'll find there's like a little load of bubbles in one area. So that's that done. Then we just got a bit some more R22 in there. 